Just fine. This is our losing semis. This is our losing semis. Any of these guys could be a favorite to win tonight. So yeah. seeing them have to kill each other here is going to be kind of, kind of scary. But hey, it's best of five territory. Yep. Let's see do, if that helps out Dill and Venia. I do believe Venia is quite positive on Dill after Xeno you know, Weeklies. Um, you know, almost consistently every week they run into each other at some point in bracket. Um, and already racking up forty-five percent, and another fifty-nine from the dash attack into the final hits of the back here. Dell forced to recover high, trying to get away from Venia. Venia really going in hard at the beginning of this set. I guess it doesn't want Dill to establish any stage presence. Kalos can be beautiful for Rob. Tons of space for him to zone properly. Plenty of space to run away as needed. But yep. Grenade is fast in the zone, right? And both of them right now are just dancing around each other's shields. Dill with a fantastic call out on Venia's jumps because he's just noticing, okay, everything Venia is doing is starting from a falling neutral area. But Venia getting the up smash right now, and Dill is is able to lance quite safely. Yeah, that's the boon and the bane of playing a character like Greninja. He's got all of that speed, but if you know that there's limited options out of that speed, you can kind of make the call on when he's going to actually do anything. Unfortunately for Dill, it's not enough information yet to get him enough space away from Venia as he breaks first blood. And also, one quick note, love that Venia's trying to run away with the gyro. Keep that tool away from Dill. Keep him from getting any stage presence whatsoever. Wasn't able to keep it away for too long, but the fact that that's in the back of Venia's mind, just to keep it away, shows that he's very present of mind for what he needs to do to win this set. And that up throw, just to maybe get a little bit of stage control. I'm not entirely sure what would incentivize him to go through that up throw, as opposed to maybe like a back throw. Um, I would like to ask Dill about that maybe sometime later. That was the down smash, I believe. Or was that the F smash? That was F smash, but a little yeah. too early for uh, killing. No, that's the Venia almost clocking in full rage, still threatening that kill. I think it's just the idea that he's forcing this juggle state and edge guard so early, so fast on Dill that he really hasn't even had a chance to play the game. Look at oh that, another God. stock down. And honestly, I love Venia's usage of his up B in this set so far because if he didn't land that back hit, he is landing that up B and Dill's going to get knocked up further and Rob is not necessarily the fastest follower in the fast follower. So um, he's going to still like, it's just going to extend the amount of time that he's off stage. This has been a beautiful sequence in Venia. As he lets go of stage control, I just want to bring out how well he was able to utilize the wall clink from Greninja to throw off Dill's rhythm. Look at this. We might see the first stock loss, but nope. Jumping away. Oh, wait, wait where, what is going on with this man today? And he has a question. is absolutely insane. He just perfectly timed his upbeat. He went along Rob's side as he did the upbeat. And that is a 3 oh, oh, not, not quite yet. yet. Nah, Dill's piloting oh, of Rob has always God. been masterful. So to see him survive even at this rate, you're crazy! Yeah. But he used the last of his fuel to do it. A smile on his face, but that's going to be game one in favor of Venia pretty gruesomely at that. Venia is absolutely insane. His offstage play today, actually, not even just in this set, his Ooh, offstage play today, today too. All right. it's like definitely ascended. Like, I have never seen him, like, respect Dill that little offstage. He had no respect <laughs> for him. He no. just went in. He's really looking to just put crowd control yeah. to the works at this point. And so Dill is maybe a little bit, you know, Dill laughing it off. Obviously, that was like, that was that, that was, was quite. That was kind of an ass beating. Let's be real here. Dill caught the hands in game one, but Stadium Two being the setting for our next match. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this gives him any bit of help. I, I feel like Venny is just able to navigate the floor so well on this stage that it's going to be more of the same. Dill just needs to find his landings, and maybe we'll see a different story. Great recovery, and Venny just like not letting him come back onto the stage, using his own gyro against him. Ah, uh, he had the lead on the air dodge, but unfortunately was a little bit too slow to punish. Um, and like the entirety of the set so far... The entirety of the set so far, it seems like Dill has just been trying to desperately get back onto stage. It's the fatal flaw of Rob. He's a really big character. He takes yeah. a good amount of space, and he, while he does have a variety of ways he can try to maneuver himself in the air, landing is a whole nother problem, especially against a character that's swift as Greninja. So he's got to figure out ways that he can mix it up. Unfortunately, Venia's not giving him any time to mix anything up God. or even establish any presence. He's just, well, you know what? I really, really love this from Venia. He is exploiting the fact that Rob has some of the most mediocre, not awful, but mediocre out of shield options. And he is not, he's pressing every single button on his shield so intelligently. He's like waiting, saying, drop it, roll, spot dodge, do something, and I will be able to start something on you. Like this beatdown looking kind of ignorant from Venia right now. I've never actually seen him play with this kind of aggression. Normally, he's known for being one of the more aggro players of New York, especially when it oh comes my to God. the city. Oh my god, what an exchange. Whoa. A missed tech manages to turn the tides. All right. 
Yeah, it's definitely like a little bit difficult to see as well, just because of like the camera um, shortcomings on PS2. You know what? That is so smart from Venya. Normally, something like that would be safe on Shield, but like Venya's like, okay, Dill's gonna try to get back aggressively because I've been so forceful with him off stage. Look at that! He just can't get back to stage. The he problem just... is, is that no matter how well Dill man manages his fuel. He's going to be forced to recover high because Venia keeps on assaulting him with Hydro Pump. The wind box is going to force him upwards. Mm -hmm. And Rob doesn't have the best of options when it comes to landing laterally or especially from high up. Venia will be able to chase him down. And we're seeing that again and again and again because Venia is not letting up. Ve oh, okay, we got, this we is so out. smart from Dill. Like choosing just to go really, really high. But I wouldn't say that that air dodge was a little bit questionable since he was in perfect, like, reactable distance unless Venia pressed the button preemptively. Oh my god. <laughs> Even Dill kind of surprised with that one. All okay. right. That's a man possessed right there. That's a Venia that has zero tolerance for losing. Just look at him. Radiating menacing <laughs> energy. Yo, he really do me. Yeah. Like, look at this. Like, I've seen Venia determined. I've seen him focused. I've seen him mad. I don't think I've ever seen him this cold when it comes to actually bringing down the hammer yep. on someone. Okay, and Dill is going to be, you know, sticking with his rub. I have seen him pull out uh, his Diddy once before against Purity. Not not all that uh, while ago, but... That's definitely for the sake of, like, matchup counterpick and maybe a bit of comfort. Here, I don't know if there's any character that in the cast that could save Dill at this point. I think it's just he needs to tighten up his play and be sharper with finding his landing. Yes. It's, it's Venia's speed and aggression that's really just breathing down Dill's neck and yeah. not giving him any opportunity to turn a counter offensive. Oh my god! <laughs> I feel like the set can commentate itself. Everything can be just done with Venia's edge guards and Dill's reactions on his camera. So it's just like him getting like So Dar, on a scale of Venia to Dill, how's your night been so far? Um uh, <laughs> a numbers. <laughs> a DQ. Oh, solid numbers? <laughs> um <laughs> And he's just like okay. Venia is it Dill it's so hard to even commentate this because Venia is so much in Dill's head that like is like calling out every defensive option that he even tries to throw out. It's it's almost borderline bullying at this point what Venia is able to accomplish. Like yeah, it's Zen. Venia has reached like the innermost state of Zen. Look, ah, oh, and there's the Mr. Punish going through the back there off stage. Really, really smart choice to reassert stage control for himself. Venia so smart just to wait off stage for a little bit, make sure he's not going to get too framed by Rob side. Uh, missed a little bit on the up smash read. A slight reprieve for Dill, but how well can he manage it? Oh, not for too long before he gets it. Oh, it's looking oh clean. Oh my god. And Venia just took that entire exchange and made it for himself because I think Dill was definitely looking for the drag down up, up tilt up in. But that is going to take out Venia's first stock of the game so far. Um, yeah, but only his first. Dill still has to work off of his yeah. final stock. Wee bit of percentage, not really going to offer him too much pressure, but at the same time, this hasn't even really been a percentage game, because as soon as Venia gets on, that's it. The numbers climb, yeah. stage control is gone. We've seen Dill die really early, really fast, regardless of where those percentages are. Venia just not has sticky in. fingers. He does not let go as soon as he latches on. And, like, again, like, well, I feel like Dill's maybe a little bit too antsy with these ledge guards. With he just chased him along the stage with down tilt. That's fine. That's acceptable. Then you're going all the way so deep. Both of them still able to come back. Both these characters have really, really amazing good covers. Bugaba has just to be a little bit more careful with resource management. And Dill finally bringing it to a last stock scenario. But he has to be careful not to get hit. Because once he's off stage, who knows what could happen. That's very true. Rob has the capabilities of taking this back. We might have to see Dill commit some very uncharacteristic uh, robbery. Uh, but, uh... I, I really don't know if it's in the cards for yeah. him. This is such a grim game. Now, mind you, he's got his down tilt pressure on Pat. And Venia is a mad beast right oh now. Oh, my God. He's and a beast who's clenched his teeth for the kill. That's a clean 3-0. I mean, honestly, Phil was so overwhelmed by this pressure from Venia. I'm not sure what... Because like as soon as he would lose just one neutral exchange, that would be it. You know, that, that he lost one neutral exchange, he would be, you know, strung along for however many percent it was, and he's off stage and he's dead. Um, I feel like Dill towards game three, in the beginning, he was like, okay, I'm just gonna press this, I'm gonna air dodge preemptively here. None of it works. Yeah, and then no. he started to tighten it up a little bit.